Press start. Hey everyone, Dan here and welcome back to Tomodachi Life where today we are going to begin by adding a new five set of me's. I'm not going to show you who they are just yet, but I thought I'd intro and start recording just in case some news flashes come up. So let's go straight into Diamond Island. Look at all this new stuff we've got. We've got so much new stuff to explore that was happening in the previous episode. So we've got the, uh, the park to explore, the amusement park, and the cafe as well, which are all brand new. There's an event going on at the fountain as well. But first, let's visit the town hall and add some brand new me's. Oh, something happened. It's news flash time. I've only added two more. So let's see what happens. This Harry. Harry's telling us. Let's see what the news is. The new apartments building has been renovated before anyone was aware it was even happening. Yay! With so many islanders moving in, there have been fewer and fewer rooms available. Awesome! The building was renovated to have 48 rooms. Ha <laughs> Taylor said, I didn't even hear a single hammer. Yep. Thanks for watching. That's the magic of me's for you. Diamond Island apartment building has been upgraded. Look how big it is now. It is huge, and I'm only two in, so I have got three left to do. I won't be long, I promise. <laughs> okay, so I've added all the ones from QR code so far, but there's one more guy that you really, really wanted me to add, and that is fake TDM. So I'm going to do create from photo and try this out. I don't know if this is going to work, but he's going to be a male. He's going to be that skin tone. He's going to have blue eyes. He's going to have, for now, he's going to have that color hair, but hopefully we will change it. What hairstyle should he have? I can't remember what, what normal TDM has. I think it's that. And now we're going to take a photo. There he is. There he is, the chump. <laughs> so that's a screenshot from my video. Look at him. Look at him. We need to add a mustache on him. Let's see if this works. Please work. Please work. Make fake Dan TDM appear. Yeah. Okay. That's, um, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Look at that one with the lips. <laughs> Why do they make my eyes so small all the time? I'm going to go with this and then I'll try and edit it. Let me see if I can make it look like him. <laughs> I don't think that's too bad. Yeah, that one's okay. And there he is. Fake Dan TDM. Energetic and an extrovert as well. Good choice, guys. Good choice. Right, let's go to our brand new apartment block and let's see which other ones I have added in, which were all taken from comments from the previous episode. Here we go. The brand new me apartments. Look at this. There's so much going on. How many people want to play games? I mean, wow, that is a lot of people. So let's go through the new people. So the first one is a ghast who wants to play games already. Look at him. He is looking very cool. That is an awesome, awesome me. So I had to choose it. And we've got someone from Minecraft in here. Right. Who's next? Sans, who's actually having a dream right now. So for those of you who have played Undertale, Sans is from that game and he's one of the funniest character, easily my favorite from the series and we're gonna see what he is dreaming about right now. Oh! Oh! Is he playing hide and seek? He's playing hide and seek with a new character as well. There he is! <laughs> Are you gonna catch him? Are you actually gonna catch him? There he is! Look! <laughs> Okay, I, I don't think you're going to find him. So let's back out of that dream. And we should be able to meet him for the first time. I picked up some dowsing rods. That's the weirdest thing I have been given by a me so far. Dowsing rods. What on earth are those supposed to mean? Um, oh, sorry to wake you up, Sans. Hey, buddy. Sans is the main and I'm always full of life. Yeah, there it is. Your voice should be a little bit deeper. But let's see what you're talking about. People tell me I'm not a complicated person. You speak so fast. So, so fast. Um, yeah, I think his voice might need to be a bit deeper. But apart from that, he is fairly spot on. Look at him. He's so awesome. And you did just get another sneak peek at a brand new character. It is Spider-Man. I have added in Spider-Man because he is one of my favorite superheroes. And look at him. This is an awesome me. And we've also added in Finn. Finn, what are you doing? Neck exercises? Look at his face. So cute. And finally, we have fake Dan TDM, who hopefully will be able to get some blue hair on later on. So there's no, there's the fake Dan TDM. And this is the... Oh, jeez. Oh, my goodness. What is going on? What is going on here? They're throwing everything at each other. Brock and normal Dan TDM are throwing ducks, flashlights, 
Oh my goodness, chess pieces. What is going on here, guys? Excuse me. Excuse me, guys. Guys, what's going on? <laughs> They're trying to beat each other up. Hardly ever this mad. Oh, he's angry. Oh, no. What's happened? I had a fight with Brock. I'm so mad. Okay, uh, that's not good. Can you make up, though, please? Please help me calm down first. Oh, jeez. What can I give him to calm him down? Maybe some food? Oh, he's kind of full. What objects do we have to give him? We could give him a... A music box. Let's see if a music box will calm him down. Would you mind if I listen to it? Yeah, go ahead. He listen to that. Calm your mind. Just there we go. There's a little me inside as well. <laughs> That's so cute. Look at him calming down. You don't need to fight with Brock. That doesn't happen here. Come on. Come on now. It's so relaxing, isn't it? Exactly. I feel calmer now. I'm going to try to make up. Okay, let's see how this goes. We don't want fighting on this island, please. Brock is so mad as well. Look at that mad hot dog. <laughs> hot dog and a gnome having a fight. Let's see if this goes well. I hope it does, because they should be good friends. I'm sorry about what happened. It's a good start. It's a good start. I'm sorry, too. Oh, thank goodness. That took so long. I didn't think he was going to say sorry. Woo! Yay, they made friends. That went well. That is good. Thanks. That is good. We made up. No problem. Here, have this as a reward. What you gonna give me, buddy? Is it gonna be a... Oh, a sewing machine. Nice. Does that mean one of the Mies could make their own clothes? That would be so good. Right, what else you gotta say? I forget about everything, whether it is good or bad. Okay, that sounds good to me. Now, you are fairly full, so I don't think you need anything else. So let's go off into the world of the Mies. So much stuff is happening. Are you sad? Or are you just smiling at the ground? That's a little bit weird. <laughs> Look at this. It's a dance party going on. This is crazy. Right. I want to go and visit this one here, which is Voldemort, because it's another friendship that's going to be formed, I think. My name is Voldemort. I like to do things my own way. Okay. Okay. Um, are you going to do this my way, though? I want to be friends with MR Incredible. MR Incredible. Okay, do you want to be friends with MR Incredible? Go what and take I it away. Talk about to get along with him? Um, what should you talk to a superhero about? I think something funny because their job is so serious and Mr. Incredible is kind Thanks of funny anyway. I'll go and talk to him. Okay, let's go and see what's going down with them two. Hopefully they make friends. Look at him. <laughs> that room kind of suits him. Yay! There's the stars that we like to see. Looks like they are going to be friends. Perfect! We're friends now, thanks to you. No problem, Voldemort. Here, have this as a reward. Well, you got me, Voldemort. What is it? Is it a wand? Cold medicine? I have so much cold medicine. It's insane. I'm always happy as long as I have a good book. Ooh, a good spell book, maybe. Right, do we have any food that we can feed them? We literally have, like, nothing. So I'm gonna give him... Something weird like snails. Voldemort, do you like eating snails or escargot, as it's more commonly known? No. No, he doesn't. <laughs> That's understandable. That's a little bit freaky to eat. I mean, if he liked them, I wouldn't have been surprised, but still. Look at all these games that we can play. Traoris wants to play. Gemma wants to play. Skeleton, Craig, and Finn. Let's play Finn's game, because we haven't said hi to Finn yet. Will you play with me? Yes, Finn. Yes, I will. What do you want to play? The zoom quiz. Can you tell what this super zoomed in item is? Just pick one of the three options. Okay. Your first zoom item. What is it? What do you think it is? What? An acorn, a bust, or honey? This is this is difficult. I um I don't know. I kind of think it might be the top of an acorn, you know, the top bit. I'm gonna go acorn. Correct answer is. I regret my decision. Yes! An acorn. Yes, it's an acorn. Oh, man, that was close. Look at him clapping. That's so cute. <laughs> Your second zoom item. What's it gonna be? What do you think it is? A cork stopper, a mango, or an ice cream cone? This is difficult, Finn. This is very difficult. I think it's an ice cream cone. The correct answer is... Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Okay, final one. What do you think it is? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That's literally just... A square of color. How am I supposed to know what that is? A scone, some cheese, or a banana skin? It kind of looks too brownish to be cheese. I'm gonna go scone. Please. Please. 
Please, no! Some cheese. It was cheese. Finn. Finn, why do you make these games so hard? Oh, man. Too bad. Maybe next time. Yeah, maybe. Thank you for the toilet paper, Finn. I'm glad you are in our apartment building. Jeez. I believe there's always a better tomorrow. Well, hopefully there's a better video game on the horizon because that zooming game is pretty difficult. Oh, only one person wants to play games, and that is Craig. So, Craig, what game? Let's play. Do you want to play? Let's have a look. Is it cards? Versus match. Turn over two panels to find the pairs. You can have another go if you find a pair. Ah, so it's me versus Craig. Let's do this. I'm going to go second because I think he'll miss one and then it will show me where stuff is. Are you? <laughs> Brock. And... Ah, there we go. Fake Dan TDM. Okay, let's try this. So I'm going to go boom. Okay, that didn't help. And then I'm going to go for this one. Whoa, yes. <laughs> Take that. So now I get another go. I'm going to go for this. It's some green tea. That green tea is very green. And then I'm going to go for this. Oh, a protein shake. Okay, it's your turn, Craig. Oh, it's a protein. Oh, no, Craig. Why? Don't do this. He's stuck. That's good. Fake TDM and tea. Okay, I've got this, guys. I've got this. So green tea and green tea. That's what I'm talking about. And also fake Dan TDM and fake Dan TDM. Then we've also got moldy bread. That's disgusting. Is moldy bread down here? It is! Oh, Craig only got one. And then I finish it off with Brock and Brock. That's what you get for playing with me, Craig. I beat you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. What are you going to give me? I've got something. Please pick one. We need to choose. I'm going to go middle. Oh, an abacus. Oh, I kind of wanted the colored potty. That would be amazing. I got an abacus, though. That's not too bad. Hey, Craig. I started cooking for myself recently. You did? Then why don't you feed everyone? That would be amazing if you could do that. <laughs> Good setups, Craig. That's what I like to see. Work it. Work it. You need to be a number one wrestler, okay? Right, we have a lot of new stuff to look at today. First off, let's go and collect our donations because we're halfway through the episode and we haven't even collected them yet. And we should be getting them from everyone apart from the five new additions that we've had. So let's skip that. 139, so close to 1,000. I completely forgot to collect all my earnings throughout the week. So there's no event on at the fountain right now. But there are some brand new things we need to take a look at, including the park. Let's go and have a look and see what's... Oh, it's barbecue time. Look at this. I want some. Oh, look, it's... That's true. It's Anna, Elsa, Finn, and Sans. What a group. They're just cooking away. I only ever buy the finest organic meat, but the thing that makes this food taste best is being able to eat it with you. Oh, that's nice. Try blowing into the mic. What? It didn't do anything. Was I supposed to do it when the, um, the smoke was happening? Yum yum, says Finn. This is so cool. So at least people are enjoying the park, which is great. Apparently there's an event going on, so we'll check that out in a second. Next is the amusement park. Let's see what's going on here. Tomodachi Quest. Is this a mini game? Oh, jeez. Okay, let's do this. Start. Let's see what happens. It's... I can't even tell what that is. Harry Potter, Gemma, Smiley, and... Oh, it's like a domino appeared. Okay, do I have to press stuff? I'm gonna punch. Gas through some punches. Domino receives 72 damage. Magic. Use magic carry. Use your best thing. Oh, it's like a... Yes, it's like a weird RPG. That is awesome. Look at this. We're going over to this cave. <laughs> this is really cool. Be careful, guys. Be very, very careful. Oh, who's appeared? It is a grilled mackerel. No, kick him. Kick the mackerel. There we go. Take that damage. You missed... Why would you miss? Harry needs to use his magic to burn up that mackerel. 173 damage. Attack normally, Smiley. That's what I'm talking about. And then Gemma's going to attack because we don't need to heal just yet. Get out of here, mackerel. Get out of here. Whoa! Okay, everyone's received 10 damage. Smiley received 9. Gemma received 9. My goodness, their defense must be better. Kick him! Kick the mackerel. The mackerel that can breathe fire for some reason. Magic from Harry as well, because he's a wizard, of course. 
205 damage. Use magic again, Smiley. Magic seems to be the most powerful. And then I'm going to heal everyone with Gem's magical power. Everyone's regaining 10 health. Beautiful. Oh, no, it just attacked Gemma this time. We need to get this mackerel out of the way. This mackerel is getting a little bit powerful. Ghast has missed again. Let's use magic. Burn it up. Get this mackerel out of here. It escaped. It ran away. It was so scared of our abilities. It ran away. Oh, do we have to choose? Let's go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch Traorus by the toe. If he screams, because he will go left. Okay, we're going left. Let's go left, everyone. We're doing pretty well. This is crazy cool. I love this. Oh, what is that? Is that an eye? We went the right way, by the way, guys. This was a good choice. Oh, jeez. A caviar king ap appeared. Okay, let's um, let's punch the caviar. <laughs> this is going to be the most expensive boss ever. Use some magic on it. Use some magic on it, Harry, because things are getting a little bit crazy up in here. Use some more magic because that seems to be the most powerful. We are losing magic points, though. And let's use a normal attack. Here we go. Nice. <laughs> this is so random. Oh, gosh, it received 61 damage. That is powerful. That's so powerful. And if the macro is anything to go by, then this is going to be a very tricky battle. Use some more magic, Smiley. Harry is out of magic points, which is bad. I can't believe this is happening right now. No, I was supposed to heal. I was supposed to heal because we took some heavy damage last time. He's spitting fire. 20 damage each. Oh, that's, that's tough. That is rough. Okay, we need to kick. Don't miss this time. There we go. Hit Caviar's weak spot of 146 damage. Uh, can Harry use some magic? Not enough MP. Oh, no. No, I made a mistake. Let's use magic as well. Oh, this is this is tense. This is real tense. Heal everyone. Heal at least someone, Gemma. Gemma, she healed herself. How selfish was that? <laughs> oh, no. Harry pretended to be dead. What is going on? This Caviar is way too strong. Okay, especially when you're missing like that. Harry is pretending to be dead. Great. <laughs> Good job, Harry. We didn't need your magic skills or anything. My goodness, right? Um, you are going to heal as well. That is our last set of healing. And Ghast, we, we gained 91. That's impressive. Smiley's dead as well. Please don't miss Ghast. Please. There we go. 84 damage. Harry's pretending to be dead. Smiley's pretending to be dead. And Gemma is going to come in with a big attack because she's run out of magic points. She missed. Oh, the caviar is so strong. So strong. Right, Gus, kick him. Kick him. Kick him till he's dead. You missed. Again. Oh, no, 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 no. No, please don't. Oh, Gemma is just alive. Right, you're going to kick again. Please don't miss. Every time, Gus, we can't be doing this. Harry and Smiley are still dead. And Gemma is coming in with the big old attack. Come on. A miss again. You guys are dead. You guys are so dead. Gemma is now dead. Great. Right. I'm going to go over to Punch because Garth seems to be missing all the time. Here, Caviar's weak spot. 158 damage. And I think, I think we've lost this, guys. I think we've definitely lost this. Four health left. Oh, my goodness. Punch again. Punch him. Punch him hard. Weak spot. 166 damage. Please die. No, we're going to lose. We're going to lose. No, everyone is dead. Oh, man, the caviar was way too strong. How random was that? That was actually really, really random. <laughs> the caviar destroyed us. Caviar is fish eggs. How do we get beat by fish eggs? Come on. Well, at least we tried, guys. At least we tried. That was really cool. Oh, my goodness. Right, let's go into the cafe now and see what's going on. Nobody is here. The event schedule. So we've got guys meeting and girls meeting that can happen here. And they cancel if the turnout is low. So they can end up having different meetings depending on who's there. And I think someone has just turned up in the amusement park. Who is it? It's Traoris. Look at him enjoying the carousel. That's cute. That's really cute. <laughs> right, let's look at the event schedule for this. So we've got magic shows, Tomodachi quest, which we've just done, evening market, and another Tomodachi quest as well. That is awesome. Tomodachi quest is only payable once per day. That was actually really, really cool as a game. And then finally, let's check out which event is going on at the park. Is it just the barbecue? Voldemort's on the grill right now. Do you know how I can tell when the meat is a little overcooked? No idea. The smoke alarm goes off. Really? Uh, really? Voldemort, though, I don't think that's true, is it? This tastes wonderful. Finn is enjoying it. He's back for his second barbecue of the day. I think we're good. This is lucky. I think we're good. <laughs> so we just need to blow it if the smoke appears. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. We just need to control the barbecue so Voldemort can enjoy himself. 
Well, we've actually done quite a lot because we went into the um because we went into the amusement park. What we could also go to is Me News. Let's see what's going on in Meverse today. You're watching Me News. Yes, we are. Home is going to tell us what's up. Diamond Island held its 53rd annual Bacalar Firework Festival. Okay. Look at that. rockets were launched into the night sky this year. <laughs> which is a big increase on last They're turning year. into food. When the centerpiece Bacalar Firework went off. It's like Bacalao's of food, right? With wonder before rounds of applause. <laughs> we asked some islanders their opinions. That's shocking. Yes. I'm lost. Do you know where we are? <laughs> Thanks for watching. No problem. I'm Homer Simpson and this was the latest new news report. That was phenomenal. Good shuffle of the papers there, Homer. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> That was so random. Okay, so while we're here, I'm just visiting the um, the pawn shop to see how much my abacus is worth. It's worth 14 pounds. That's not too bad, actually. I'm going to go ahead and sell some of my toilet papers because I do not need them. Let's sell five of them just so that we've got the collection there ready to go. And I'm going to do some shopping quickly. And then I think we're pretty much done. That Tomodachi quest took so, so long. Right, let's go to the hat shop. Please be some good ones. Oh, we got bed hair. Is that just a single hair? That's amazing. We got a cycling helmet and a mini 10 gallon hat. Right, I'm buying this bed hair. There we go. That is going to be perfect for our bold me's. So perfect. And in interiors, we have a tropical beach still, a bathhouse. That's interesting. A frontier sunset and gothic is still here. Frontier sunset is really nice, but who would I give that to? Who would suit a frontier sunset? I actually have no idea, but if I if I find someone to match, then I will go for it. And then finally, let's see if there's any more costumes ready to go. We've got a blazer. That's very snazzy indeed. A doorman's uniform, rockabilly dress, a Viking costume, and a witch outfit. These are some cool costumes. Who would suit Vikings? I kind of think Sans would suit a Viking costume. So I'm going to buy that, and let's dish these out real quick. Actually, you know who would suit a little baby hair sticking out the top of their head? Voldemort. Let's go for it. Bed hair for Voldemort, even though he's got none. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Voldemort. I have an amazing gift for you. I'll let you know what you're talking about in a second, but we are going to go for bed hair. Oh, we have the demon horn as well, and we've got quite a lot of bold me's, so we've got a lot to use these with, which is going to be perfect. <laughs> Look at him. He likes it a little. Look at his little hair. It looks so weird. Harry's got his scar, but Voldemort's got his little hair. <laughs> I don't want to join in something I know I will lose. I know, I know, Voldemort. You're always up to that kind of thing. Right, Sans, how is it going, buddy? Where is he? There he is. Just lying on the floor, chilling out as Sans would, rolling around. Right, let's give him the Viking outfit and see if he likes it. Viking costume. There you go, Sans. Enjoy it, buddy. Enjoy it. There we go. Yes! That is so perfect. He really likes it as well. Oh, that is amazing. Look at that. I can be a bit awkward, but please go easy on me. I will. Don't you worry, especially when you're looking that awesome, buddy. Especially when you're looking that awesome. <laughs> right, so we're going to visit Phil really quick, and we're going to give him the demon horn, because I think that will look amazing on him. So, actually, we've got the jaunty cap as well. Demon horn or jaunty cap? I'm going to give him the jaunty cap so I think it'll match his outfit later. And I think I might give Spider-Man the horn instead. Look at that. Gangster. Properly gangster. I like it. I finally think I understand what life is all about. Really? That's pretty deep. That's pretty deep. You should probably keep that to yourself before you blow my mind. Right. Who else have we got that's bold that could go for a demon horn? Wait, wait. Freddy's having a dream. Freddy is having a dream. It's probably about terrorizing all the human beings in his little arcade. Oh. Oh, I trust it to be scary. Is this it? Is no one going to say anything? Look at the Freddy bobblehead. Oh my goodness, that is amazing. Oh, what happened? What are we stopping for? What's going on? Oh, jeez. By the way, do we need to get anything from the supermarket? Um. I already bought everything. <laughs> I see. Is that it? Oh, this is creepy. So creepy. I went out. I went out of here. What item are you going to get from that dream? We got a, a hula dancer. Of course we did. A bobblehead. Perfect. <laughs> my name is Spider-Man. I like to do things my own way. Do you? 
do you? Well, I think you are going to be given a very cool hat right now. You're going to be given the demon horn, which is going to upgrade your Spider-Man mask just a little bit. There we go. <laughs> he likes it. He loves it. Oh, that's so fantastic, Spider-Man. I am so glad. Give me that money. Thank you, buddy. I like planning my own holidays. That is so good to hear. Look at his little horn. Oh, it looks so good on him. He's kind of upgraded. Now he can headbutt people if he really wants to. <laughs> let's play together. Dante DMs look alike. Okay, Gast. Let's play a game. Did we play a game with him earlier? I think we did. Wrestling. Okay, here we go. Here we go. It's me versus Gast. Let's go. Go, 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 go. I'm tapping. I'm tapping. I am going to push you over. Yeah. He didn't fall over, but he was very close. What am I going to win? Oh, yeah. We get to choose, don't we? Let's go big. Oh, no. No, the pendant was in the middle. I should have gone middle. What is wrong with me? I've been having trouble sleeping lately. That's because you're a ghast and you don't sleep. Oh, I can't believe I missed that. Hey, look, there's barbecue meat ready to go now. Okay, let's buy. Let's buy three of those. Let's buy some schnitzel. Let's buy two of those. Let's buy some spaghetti carbonara, which secretly is one of my favorite dishes ever. And let's buy some, some tofu as well. So we can't miss out on any of that exclusive, exclusive food. But I think we've actually run out of time today, guys. I'm so sorry. There's so much going on. But... That is a good thing because we've got so many me. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please leave a big fat like on this video. That would be greatly appreciated. I'm glad you guys are enjoying this series as much as I am playing it because it's such a fun game. So, yeah, if you did enjoy, a big fat like would be greatly appreciated. If this happens to be the first video seen by me, please do consider subscribing to join Team TDN today for daily gameplay videos. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye!